Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. By the way, my name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to reflect a little bit of what this year gave us and uh, where we want to be in 2021. I'm going to give you a little bit of my makeup inventory in the same time. I'm going to give you a list of things that I will want to buy. And of course, we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. So if you're up for that, then go ahead and keep on watching. I had to put this sparkly thing on because, you know, it's the last day of uh, 2020, which I'm glad. <laughs> uh, it's been a rough year. Uh, I struggled a lot this year with a lot of things, but I'm ready for 2021 and I'm ready to start building to my goals <laughs> for 2021. So let's talk first. We're going to talk about a little bit of the new year resolutions. I have six of them. Um, of course, besides the normal, I want to start eating healthier. I want to start work, working out. That's not in there. But that's just like a normal type of thing. Like every year that just transfers in. And uh, I don't always end up achieving it. But it's still there. But one of the things that I want um, in the next year, as you may have noticed, <laughs> during the month of December, I have posted a lot. I uh, was able to find inspirations and I was able to have time to be able to post that much. But starting January, I am going to get back in school because December I had most of the month off uh, but January I'm starting to go back in school hopefully I'm gonna get a new job and I want to keep posting over here but I want to start posting three videos a week and they're gonna be Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays those are gonna be the three days that we're gonna post here every Tuesday every Thursday and every Saturday you're gonna see a video from me during 2021 and I have some really amazing uh, ideas for next year so stay tuned be subscribed if you're not already um, and like this video the also would love to grow my channel of course if we hopefully finger cross reach the 1000 subscriber goal that will be freaking amazing but my main thing is I really want to stay focused, be active on my account, and also make sure that um, I'm growing, but not necessarily has to be a thousand subscribers. It's just me basically growing. Another thing that I want for my channel is to be able to create more relatable content. As much as I like to purchase a lot of uh, makeup and just kind of show you here and there, this and that, what I purchased, what I did not purchase, that I don't feel necessarily that is very relatable content. I think more relatable content is be like actually applying the product on, actually trying it for a while and just kind of give you my recommendation about that. Also, we're going to look into my collection and we're gonna take some things out and we're gonna some put new things out but things like that and also just kind of like want to give you ideas of what to wear to, for work um, when do you go to school when you go to a job interview and stuff like that because those are things that you really need to actually know how to do they're actually important for stuff like that although I as much as I would like to go to a party every freaking day that is not possible and I just don't think that's necessarily very relatable content so I'm gonna try to put a little bit more relatable content in my 2021 agenda now another thing um, that I want and this is more of a personal one I do want to find a job in the industry that I'm going for school um, and that is in uh, management in transportation and logistics so I'm definitely gonna 
focus my energy a lot into that as well. Um, as you all know, or most of you knew, <laughs> um, I used to work for a jewelry company, but uh, in November I decided to quit and uh, because I did start a school back in September. But I uh, am trying to find something in that industry. Now, another one that it is that I have on my list is I wanted to continue to learn and I wanted to continue to evolve. Um, I want to try new things in my makeup routine. I want to see, make some tweaks here and there, find the best ways, try a bunch of things and decide which one works the best for me. I feel like I'm, I got a little bit stuck into the ways I'm doing my makeup and I feel like I need to get out of that a little bit. Like for example, I want to try a little bit more like medium skin, a medium coverage foundation or I want to try some different type of eye looks. I want to try things like that and just kind of play with that a little bit and just find, refine basically um, the best way of showcasing my um, my beautiful face and makeup. But not only that, I feel like I'm just uh, I'm just limiting myself to if I'm continuing to use the same thing in the same way over and over again. Um, one other thing, and this is very personal, uh, I do put it up, I, I'm i going to put it up here, um, but I'm not going to talk about it too much. Uh, I do want to get pregnant next year at the, at the end of next year. So that I will work for it next year as well. Now, another thing that I uh, want to do is shrink up my <laughs> makeup collection or at least to start using more what I already have in my makeup collection. So this has been a big problem in my head this year, especially um, in spring and summer. I uh, just went on shopping sprees over shopping sprees. I really had a hard time with everything happening around us and I just wanted to spend money. That was all I was doing and I just bought a lot of stuff that I don't think it's necessary, but I do want to start using it. So a lot of this, um, a lot of this makeup, I need to either start using or give it away or something has to happen with it. And let me show you, cause now we're going to go into the next, uh, part of the video, which is makeup inventory. And your girl did an Excel spreadsheet <laughs> and put all my makeup in there where I put all my makeup and I tried to think when did I purchase it, uh, when was added to my collection and um, if I did put it in a project pan I'm gonna put it over there with how many usage I got from it and if I get a declutter and stuff like that. So. I went through my entire collection and let me tell you, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard to come up with all the numbers. It was hard to count everything and figure things out. Um, I have not done one thing though, but when we get to get there, I'm going to explain why and what. But first, let's have a look. I'm going to put it right here on the screen next to me so you can see exactly what I'm looking at because I'm looking at my computer right now. First thing what I did, I um, primers. I decided to put all my primers in here. As you can see, is, you have the brand right there. This is the category face and eye, and then the items, how many items I have. Why I have items like that? Because there's some things that I have there, like three or four of them or two of them or stuff like that. So that's why I like to have them right in there. Um, and then when was added to my collection, a lot of these things were added in 2020. You, as you would see with a lot of my makeup collection, I just went ham in 2020. I purchased a lot in, during spring and summer. I slowed down fall and winter, but uh, yeah. 
spring and summer I was uh, pretty crazy over there and I also have some that are sealed in uh, that I have them but I have not opened them so as you can see for primers these are uh, face primers and eye primers as well I have 21 21 of them yeah 21 <laughs> I do have some deluxe sizes in here and I have some uh, packages as well like some small packages in there as well like te tester packs but um, still that is 21 um, I definitely want to uh, go to maybe a 10 I don't need more than 10 primers even 10 I feel like it's a lot so that uh, definitely needs to go down I do have um, a lot of wear in some of them so I know I'm gonna be able to finish at least three or four but it's still it's still a lot in here and um, I need to get down to maybe 10 for next year now foundations foundations again there's a lot in there as well and I just added another two foundations to my collection yes they are already in here in the spreadsheet um, yeah i have 17 17 foundations that's that's a lot that's a lot but uh like i said i think i'm pretty sure i can finish a bunch of them this year i want to get down to maybe 10 um again in foundations i don't think i need more than 10 foundations um but yeah this that's how much i have and i already i have sealed three of them as well so mm -hmm. now for concealers this is a category which i'm kind of happy where i'm at right now i don't want to go even further with it but i'm i think i think i can add one more during this year to to the collection we'll see but yeah i'm really glad with the with the collection that i have for concealers I think I, I will be just fine with, with what I have right here. Yeah. Um, for face powders, I have uh, 21. Now, <laughs> damn, 21. I was shocked. When I started counting, I was shocked. Um, I do have one that I did finish, which, yes, thank you. Uh, but <laughs> still 20 without it that is a lot okay that is a freaking a lot um, and I do have a lot of them sealed but a lot of them are open as well so I do have a lot of pins and I do uh, have a lot of things already but I think I have too many face powders at the moment. I would definitely would love to be maybe at, uh, should I say like maybe 15 of them? Somewhere around there. I don't want to have more than 15. Uh, for bronzers, 17. This is not too big of a collection, but it's not a small collection. Uh, I do feel like I can finish up maybe one or two so that brings it down to a 15 I think I should go in there and maybe declutter some of them we'll see but I definitely feel like next year I would love to be around maybe eight I think eight will be good now blushes Oh, I don't want to look at this one. <laughs> this one, there's 27 of them. 27. And that doesn't, I did not count each uh, blush from like blush palettes. It, I, it's too much. It's way too much. I will need 10 years to consume this. And I don't think I want to spend 10 years uh, doing that. But uh, definitely blushes. I cannot buy any more blushes this year for sure. I cannot add anything else in here. I would considerably want to be less like maybe 
for this year maybe lose seven of them and just be like around 20 i don't know somewhere around there but i have way too many for highlighters i have 13 um i don't use that many i don't use that much but this year i'm trying to make myself use some more so we'll see how that number is gonna go i'm okay with the number right now but it can go down too now for mascaras uh i have way too many mascaras that are open way too many and um i am working on three right now so hopefully by next month i finish those three and i can go again with like maybe another two or three mascaras and finish more i do have a bunch of them sealed as well so that is that is a lot i i don't think i'm gonna purchase any more mascaras this year unless it's like something very crazy out there yeah for lips, so for lips, I just did not want to go for every single lipstick and put it in here because I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So what I did, I went and counted my bullet lipsticks and for bullet lipsticks, I have 35 of them. For liquid lipstick, I have 31. For uh, lip liners, I have 14. For lip gloss, I have 26, and for lip treatments, I have 16. A total of 122 products. 122 lip products. When in the hell am I gonna use all that? Seriously, never. And I try not to purchase much of lipsticks and stuff like that in 2020, but. I received a lot in a lot of mystery boxes or I received a lot in the freakish uh, boxy charm thing which I'm not gonna do this year it's just way too much it's it's way too much uh, I'm hoping to finish a few lipsticks here and there this year and some lip glosses and stuff like that lip balms but 122 that's too much all right, so now let's go to um, eyeshadow palettes. For the eyeshadow palettes, actually, I'm surprised I only have 67 of them. I do have, uh, I have two of them that I have in, in projects right now. Uh, I would definitely love to see some pins. Um, the number doesn't, doesn't surprise me that much. I actually was expecting to see more than that. So for eyeshadow palettes, I think we're good. I think I can add a few more to my collection. For mist, for sprays, um, I got 11. I have 11 of them. Uh, too much. That is too much. Uh, I think I want to stay around five of them. I don't, I don't think I need more than five. And for miscellaneous, so in miscellaneous, what I have, I have uh eyeliners i have some sparkly things i have some brow stuff that's what i put them all together and there are 53 items in there i definitely need to go in there and declutter a bunch of them um and i'm planning to do that in january so if you want to see that um please stay subscribed or subscribe if you're not already but yeah we're gonna do a declutter for this one there are 53 of them it's insane it's insane. <laughs> now, are you ready for the grand total? Um, grand total, I have 391 products. 391. And 25 of them, I am mean, using, I mean, 25 of them, I am using them in the project pen right now. But, 391 i'm wondering can we go to every single one of them this year to try them at least a few times i don't know <laughs> if i don't purchase any more makeup then yes but you know how it is i'm definitely gonna purchase more makeup um is this a total that i'm like 
surprised of, annoyed with, and things like that? No, not necessarily. I, I think for all the things that I have, 391 is not too bad, but there are some areas where I do need to work on, and those are primers. I think I can get this grand total down to like maybe 300 products for next year. That's my goal. If it's not happening, at least not to be higher than 391, we'll see how that is gonna go. And now it takes me to the category where what makeup products I'm not going to buy in 2021. And I have them down here. So here are the products that I am not going to purchase. Not even one of them. Uh, and that will be lipsticks or lip products. I have way too many. 122, that is crazy. Like I said before, I think that's insane. I cannot use that up. I definitely need to start, um, stop, stop buying lip products. I know for sure I'm going to receive some of them probably in mystery boxes that I'm going to purchase this year, but by myself, just like reaching out for a lipstick or a lip product, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to stay away <laughs> and not doing that. Uh, so yeah, lip products, it's a big no for me this year. Next, highlighters. I don't need more highlighters. I have way too many. I don't use them as much. I don't need more highlighters. I don't feel like I need to have a glowy skin like that. I am already very oily. So I don't think I need more highlighters. I'm going to stop purchasing them. I hope I don't get any any uh, in the mystery boxes. If I do, probably um, I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna declutter them right then and there or not because your girl doesn't need any more highlighters. Next on my list, uh, blushes. I I have way too many. So as much as I love blushes, because I love blushes, I don't think. Um, I don't think it's possible for me to purchase anymore. <laughs> as much as I love blushes, I don't think I can purchase anymore. Uh, there's just too many. I don't know what am I going to do with 27 blushes. Way too many. I think it needs to be down, like I said, at least 20 uh, by next year. Or if I get down to 10, that would be freaking awesome. But 27, it's way too much. Way too much in my opinion, way too much. Now, uh, another thing that I'm not gonna purchase, uh, at least <laughs> at least the first half, okay? Let's just do the first half of 21, 2021, because this is a really hard one. It's a really hard one, but I need to do it. Foundations. I have 17, 17. I don't need any more. Uh, so no more foundations this year. Another item that I'm not gonna purchase. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna buy any more powders. I have way too many powders as as it is. Unless it's like mini, and I'm gonna get a mini size. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, maybe. But I will try not to go for full size anymore. And then another one, I don't want to add any more mascaras to my collection. That's, that, that, no, I don't need it. Unless it's like a really crazy mascara, I don't need it. So these are on my no buy list for 2021. Let me know if you have a no buy list for 2021 as well. Please share it down below. I would love to read and I would love to see what is on your list for no buy in 2021 and this is all the video i talked about my resolutions i talked about um my makeup inventory i talked about of my no buy i know this was a long video thank you so much for sticking around thank you so much for watching it 
and uh, please let me know what are your revolu the resolutions are <laughs> for this year and um, where do you think your makeup inventory is at? Do you want to do a makeup inventory? I think it's helpful. I think it's helpful. It takes a long time. Just so you know, it takes a long time, but it is helpful. So that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I wish you all the best and I hope that 2021 is going to be the best year of our life. We deserve an amazing year and hopefully it's going to deliver. Take care of you and uh, Happy New Year, you guys. Bye.